बिस्मिल्लाहमान रहीम हेलो एंड वेलकम टू रहमान डिजिटल प्रोडक्शन दिस इज लेक्चर नंबर 67 ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स 4024 वी वर डिस्कसिंग इन द फ्यू लास्ट फ्यू लेक्चर्स द कंसेप्ट ऑफ जियोमेट्री टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू do question number 9 there are many figures given and without using the instrument we have to find the value of unknowns in the first example they given us a o b is a straight line and c o d is a straight line so these are very important piece of information ladies and gentlemen when this and this is a straight line then 117 and this are equal we can write that a degree plus 30 degree plus 40 degree is equal to 117 degree and that is vertically opposite angles through this theorem we are using this one so now we are adding a plus 70 degree is equal to 117 degree we have to shift a is equal to 117 degree minus 70 degree and when we subtract it it will be 47 so 7 and 47 degree we found the value of unknown how you can cross check your answer by putting the value of a not as a 47 30 and 40 it will be equal to this one if it is equal it means that you are correct now let us talk about the b part and the b part is saying a o b and c o d are straight line find the value of unknown we have to find the value of b c there in gentlemen many students are committing this mistake that they are taking 7 b is equal to c not and then they don't understand what we have to do next so you have to take first those variables of which we can find the values for example i am writing 7b not plus 3b not is equal to 180 degree angles on a straight line so only variable is b first we have to find the value of b then we can find the value of c so if we evaluate it it will be 10b degree is equal to 180 degree and then we have to divide both sides by 10 degree so it means that this zero will be cancel with this so 18 degree is the value of b now if we want to find the c it is quite easy for c we are writing 7 b degree is equal to c degree this implies that c degree is equal to c and we found the value of 
B is 18. So we are putting instead of that B degree 18. So we have to calculate and that will be uh, 126 degree. So you can see that without using the instrument we can find the values of unknown angles and that is the beauty of mathematics through tricks and techniques you can find the values now ladies and gentlemen next question is question number 10 and question number 10 is saying that x y and z are three angles lying on a straight line this is very important they are collinear a they are on the straight line three angles so their sum will be equal to 180 and let us write it x plus y plus z is equal to 180 degree and we have two angles on a straight line this must be the theorem okay so far so good then the a part they are saying that if y degree is equal to x degree plus z degree find the value of y we have to find the value of y so ladies and gentlemen instead of this y we are putting what we are putting uh, this because we are having this is y degree plus uh, this x degree and z degree we have to put at is y degree so y degree plus y degree is equal to 180 degree 2y degree is equal to 180 degree this implies that y is equal to 90 degree because dividing both sides by 2 we will get because it is given y degree is equal to x degree plus z, x degree plus z. Instead of these two angles, we inserted the value as a y. So, y plus y means 2y and the rest is simple. Now, in the second part, they are saying that this is the b part. And they are saying x degree is equal to y degree is equal to z degree then find the value of z then find the value of z we are coming to solve it here because we don't have the place here so let us solve it here. So, it means that we will have z degree plus z degree plus z degree is equal to 180 degree angles on a straight line. We have to refer why we wrote this angles on a straight line and ladies and gentlemen you can write it 
एस थ्री जेड डिग्री इज इक्वल टू वन एटी डिग्री एन बाय डूइंग प्रॉपर कैलकुलेशन वी कैन गेट दैट एन वेन ऑल द एंगल्स आर इक्वल एक्स वाई एंड जेड देन इट automatically yield that every angle will be 60 why because 60 multiplied by 3 is equal to 180 so it means that we are absolutely correct in our answer next is ladies and gentlemen question number 11 and in question number 11 they given us this figure n there are this figure is saying that a b c this is c a b c d and o in the figure d o b is a straight line yes this d o b is a straight line this is the first piece of information we are having in solving this question what what other information we are having if b o c is twice is if b o c is twice of a o b this is the second piece of information third one is saying c o d is four time of a o b and d o a is five time uh that of a o b find all the four angles let us start with o a o b a o b plus d a o a o angle a o b plus d o a angle d o a is equal to 80 degree a o b and d o a this angle and this angle are equal to 180 by which theorem we have to say angles on a straight line angle on a straight line we have to refer it like this now they given us that d o a uh, a o b is five time that of d o a it is given that so we are writing a o b on its place and 5 a o b is equal to 180 degree they given us in the question that a o b is five time that of d o a so we write five times here so it means that we are referring six angle o a o b is equal to 180 degree and then we have to write angle a o b is equal to 30 degree now we found one a o b we found this first 
and that is the 30 degree now we are coming toward b o c uh b o c angle b o c is equal to twice that of a o b a o b we have to write this is also given in the question so instead of b uh, a o b we can write 30 so it means that 2 multiplied by 30 degree because we found a o b as a 30 in the previous section so it means that will be equal to 7 60 degree we found the second one b o c first we found this one now we found this one so ladies and gentlemen now let's turn to d uh, c o d c o d is given as how many times that is the four time of a o b and we already found a o b is equal to 30 degree so it means that a c o d is 130 degree now d o a is five time d a o is five time of a o b so five into 30 and that is equal to 150 degree so ladies and gentlemen in this way we found these values of the different angles by first only finding the value of this uh, a o b this helped us a lot in finding the values according to the given condition okay now we are turning to question number 12 and a part question number 12 is saying given that a o b and c o d are straight line these two are straight line if they are not straight line then we won't be able to solve these questions correctly so ladies and gentlemen these information are playing very vital role in the solution of this question further they are saying find the value of the unknown in each of the following okay first of all we have to find the value of b so we can write 2 b degree plus 13 degree is equal to 103 degree vertically opposite angle vertically opposite angles theorem is used here so we can write 2 b degree is equal to 103 degree minus 13 degree which is 90 so i am writing that b degree is equal to 45 now we found the b degree so we can find now like this 2 b degree plus 13 degree plus 7 a degree is equal to 180 degree and we are referring angles on a straight line angles on a straight line 
we found the value of b so we will put 2 into 45 degree plus 13 degree plus 7 a degree is equal to 180 degree this will be 90 and 90 plus 13 103 so, 7a degree is equal to 180 degree minus 103 degree. And when we subtract that, it will be 77 degree. So, it means 7a degree is equal to 77 degree and as a result, we will get a is the 11 degree. How beautifully you found these values of A and B through the usage of different theorem. Ladies and gentlemen, there is B part C and D part also. So, I have to erase this whiteboard. So, only wait for one second. Okay, we are back. So, let us turn our focus to part number B. Ladies and gentlemen, because C, O, D and A, O, B are straight line. So, either you can start from here to find the value of C or you can also start from here to find the value of D. In both cases, you will get, I am starting from this, 62 degree plus 49 degree plus 3C degree is equal to 180 degree angles on STR line. This is the theorem used by getting this equation. So, when we are adding this one, so it will be 1 and 111 plus 3C degree is equal to 180 degree. So, we have to write 3C degree is equal to 180 degree minus 111 degree and when we subtract it we will find the 69 so 3 C degree is equal to 69 degree C degree is equal to 23 degree by dividing both sides on uh, 3. Okay, now for the second case, D degree is equal to 3C degree and vertically opposite angles. This and this. Because this and this is a straight line, so these angles will be equal because we found the value of C and that is 23 degree. So, it will be 69 degree. So, we found the another unknown value and that is 69 degree. The only thing remaining is the E. Because this is a straight line, so either you can find it E degree plus 3C degree is equal to 180 or E degree is equal to 62 plus 49. That is comparatively easy because this and these are vertically opposite angles. These are the straight lines. So I can write E degree is equal to 62 degree plus 49 degree and we are writing 
vertically opposite angles and very simply we can find e degree is equal to 111 so we found the value of e to be 111 okay now we are doing the set the to find the value of g so 5g degree plus 18 degree plus 2f degree plus 35 degree is equal to 180 degree and that is angles on a straight line through this theorem we did so 5 g degree plus 18 degree plus 2 into 6 degree plus 35 degree is equal to 180 degree we simply inserted the value of f which we found in the previous section as 6 so 5g plus 18 degree plus 12 degree plus 35 degree is equal to 180 degree ladies and gentlemen after the calculation we will find that 5g is equal to 5g degree is equal to 115 degree so 5 23 degrees so g is equal to 23 degree is the answer now ladies and gentlemen we are going to find the value of this and that is d number part we are going to do it here we are not left with the much uh, more area so we are doing it here and then we will solve that question is here here we have to find the value of the first we have to find the value of h and if we want to find the value of h a o b and c o d are straight line so this this and this are the this one and this one are the straight line so first we have to find the value of h okay for that we have to utilize this and this they are vertically opposite angle so we have to write 24 degree plus 90 degree plus h degree n and then 104 degree plus 32 degree and when we find the value of h h it will be 22 h is equal to 22 degree now next we have to find the value of i and the value of i is adjacent angle on a straight line this one is a straight line so this plus this plus this is equal to I am writing 2 I degree 
plus 104 degree plus 32 degree is equal to 180 degree and here angles on a straight line and after the calculation we will have I is equal to 22 degree you can calculate and get this result similarly we have to find j and j is equal to 2i j is equal to 2i vertically opposite angles so j is equal to 2 into 22 degree which is equal to 40 4 degree. Now ladies and gentlemen only one question is remaining but we are getting out of time so I am leaving it for tomorrow and then we will start very important when parallel line intersect each other uh, by a traversal line what will happen very important topic is that very very important so don't miss it thank you very much for watching Allah Hafiz